Dear students, today we will discuss replacement of an item whose maintenance and repairing cost increases with time and value of the money also increases with time. So let's start. So before going to the numerical, let's try to understand few terminologies here. Replacement of item whose maintenance cost increases with time and value of the money also changes with time. So in this type of problem, we have to find out the present worth of the money. If I is a rate of inflation, then present worth of money for a rupees 1 spent in n years will be 1 plus i to the power minus n. This is equal to v to the power n. So for the after first year, it will be 1 plus i to the power minus 1. So 1 divided by 1 plus i for 1 rupees. This is called discount rate, discount factor or present worth of factor. For second year similarly is 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power whole square. And for the third year 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power cube. Like that we have to proceed. So C is the capital cost of the item, <coughs> R is the year of service, capital R suffix R, maintenance cost, discount factor V R minus 1, discounted cost capital R, uh, capital R suffix R, V R minus 1, discounted cost capital cost plus summation of discounted cost all the summation of discounted cost and cumulative discount factor it will summation of r1 n v r minus 1 and here we have to find out the weight is average annual cost so it is c plus summation of r 1 to n capital R suffix R V R minus 1 divided by summation of n uh, R 1 to n V R 1. So let's consider one uh, numerical a machine cost 500 operating and maintenance cost are 0 for the first year and increases by 100 every year if the money is worth 5% every year determine the base age at which machine should be replaced the resale value of the machine is negligibly small so we consider this problem and try to solve this problem to solve this problem we are considering this table so this is year of service R, maintenance cost, capital R, suffix R, discount factor V R to the power N R, R minus 1, discounted cost. So discounted is called this into this actually. And uh, we are considering this in suppose 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6. So this one basically 2 into 3 and discounted total cost we have to add summation of this discounted cost plus capital cost and cumulative discounted factor will be this one this cumulative factor summation of discounted factor and weighted average annual cost will be 5 column 5 divided by column 6 column 5 divided by column 6 so in that problem at first you will un try to understand one important factor this is called present worth of value for this purpose, this one suppose present worth of value. 
so after one year so one plus this is r is given actually one plus 0 0.05 it will be 0 0.9524 after second year it will be 0 0.907 after third year it will be 0 0.6 so it will goes like this way so here year of service i am putting one two three four five years up to five years i am putting here and maintenance cost here it is mentioned that it is increased by 100 so first year is 100 second year will be 200 third year will be 300 uh, i'm sorry this will be zero actually for first year this will be one for first year it will be one so every year it will increase 300 and this is 400 so every year for the first year there will not be any maintenance this is zero it is mentioned there and discount factor for the first one will be one we already discussed so here will be 0 0.9524 next one will be 0 0.9070 it will be 0 0.8 6 38.8227 so how can you find out this one let's discuss this one once again so i am using this one divided by one plus r r is given five percent so if i put the value for after five year after one year you will get 9.9524 after second year 0 0.9 one divide one divided by one plus point zero five whole square point nine zero seven zero after third year one divided by one plus point zero five to the power three you will get this like that and you will get this table so after that you have to find out R into VR so 2 column 2 into this for this one this is 0 so it will be 0 and for this it will be 95.24 for this one it will be 181.4 for this one is 259.14 and this one 329.24 08 after that you have to add the capital cost so this is zero so capital cost here capital cost will be 500 after 500 you have to add this negative so it will be 595.24 then this into this it will be like this this we go like this it will go like this and you will get this one so if i add it will be seven seven six point four six four then it will be one zero three five point seven eight last one one thousand three hundred and sixty four point eight six then you have to find out summation of this the summation of this cumulative summation of this the first one will be remain one it will be 1.9524 so next one will be 2.8594 this will be 3.7232 4.5 4 5 so after that this is the column 5 and column 6 so you have to divide column 5 by 6 and if you do that you will get this is 500 so this is 595.24 
four divided by one point nine five two four. It will be three zero four point eight eight. It will be two one seven point six one. It will be two seven eight point two. Again here it will be three zero zero two five. And if you observe here initially it is decreasing up to here and after that it is increasing so meaning is that after third year you have to replace the machine so in this type of problem we solve in this way try to solve your problem based on resale value here i am not considering the resale value so please take some example and try to solve the problem.